Well, hello there, people out there in the view of us. So today, gems, you probably guess what I'm going to be talking about because it's inside the title of the video, and it's probably why you clicked on this video, isn't it? To be fair, but yes, this is to do with Euro Gamer. Yeah, these chappies up here, they went to visit the Shaun of the Murrays at the Hello Game Studio to talk about the Nintendo Switch release. So let's scroll on down. So this was actually done by Matt Wales. You lucky reporter, you, Mr. Matt, because I'd love to be able to talk to Mr. Murray, I guess I would. So here we go. Let's scroll on down to where it gets a little bit delish, shall we? Because yes, there's talking about the, the launch on the 7th of October, but I've already done countless videos on that and also what it looks like and so forth and so on. So let's just keep going down until we get to what no, what Hello Games and Shaun of the Murrays has said it's also going to be in the update. And uh, yeah, we go from where we, yeah, here we go. So here we go. No Man's Sky 4.0 update. This is the title that you want to scroll down to and have a quick read. There's also another bit a bit later on where they talk about their new ambitious project that's in work in progress. So yes, you might want to read that to people in the view of us. Heck yes. So um, I'm just checking my levels for my... Where's my Winamp gone? You playing Winamp? Yes, it is playing. That's good. Awesome. Right, anyhow, here we are. As it happens, a No Man's Sky next major update, known as 4.0, isn't that far away. Arriving this Friday, 7th of October, alongside the game's Switch port. Now, this is where it quotes Murray. So this is Sean Murray's voice. Oh, shall I change my voice for Murray? No, here we go. Normally, when we bump into version numbers, explains Murray, we've added a new platform. 2.0 was Xbox, 3.0 was VR, 4.0 is Switch, and we take time to sort of revisit the fundamentals of the game a little bit. It's a moment where we can do that. We feel we should because we're going to have a new players coming in fresh start, or starting fresh, I should say. That's my dyslexic brain. I have got dyslexia, people, honest. It, it just does that. It dances around from time to time. So you might want to read this yourselves, but I'm doing my best. OK, however, 4.0 marks something of a departure from previous major number bumps. And Murray is keen to keep expect expectations in check. Yes, yes. While 2.0 and 3.0, titled Next Beyond, respectively, were huge updates in terms of content, he explains this isn't the case here. Instead, 4.0 brings extensive changes to what Murray calls the more design-heavy elements of the game, balance, difficulty, and structure. Right, OK. Well, I would say the first sort of outing when you first arrive on a planet is a little bit difficult to stay alive for uh, new players. Hopefully they're going to tweak that a little on Switch. We'll see. For me, he continues, this update is for you've said. Look, I played No Man's Sky and I wanted to love it, but I bumped off of it a bit because it was a bit grindy. Or if you said I want to come back, but it's been ages and there's been so many updates that it feels overwhelming. I've heard both of those from people in the view of us. So yeah, sound off in the comments if that's you as well. You've probably had this experience where you've come to a game where it's been updated a ton and sometimes those elements don't fit as cohesively as you would like. Yes, there's a lot of loose ends even still, even to date, in No Man's Sky. Hopefully he means he's tying some of those together as well. We hear this sometimes and we think it's true. And so we've done in 4.0 is we've re re revisited a bunch of things that are really impactful from the design perspective. Ooh, this is tantalising, isn't it, people? This is very tantalising. I wonder what they've done. OK, well, let's get on because there's probably more to it. Here we go. In that end, 4.0's features lots of streamlining in terms of the tutorial. When you unlock certain things, that's available to you. All intended to fit with No Man's Sky six years of updates into a more cohesive whole. Hmm... That streamlining will also extend to the game's inventory system, OK, which in turn has enabled Hello Games to massively increase what is effectively the level cap, meaning bigger inventories and the opportunity to level up ships and weapons further than it was possible before. So even just in that one sentence. People like myself that might not have much to gain from the Nintendo Switch version might have things that we can tinker around with when it comes to our weapons and our ships. 
Luckily, I haven't gone to town on all of my ships yet, and I've still got one multi-tool that I'm toying with, so this is good news to me. Additionally, 4.0 introduces No Man's Sky first new game modes in since the arrival of Creative and Survival in 2016's foundation update well you know they did that um, expedition that was sort of death loopy i was kind of thinking it'd be nice if they overhauled the survival mode and put a lot of that game mechanic from the death loopy type thing into the game into survival mode which would be nice but they're not talking about this they're talking about something else when we first originally launched explains murray we made the game a little bit more difficult and a bit more grindy perhaps because we didn't have the breadth of content we do now but now people have come in they want to see a mech they want to see the story they want to go to the nexus and things like that so we've wanted to find the right balance for new players ho 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 brilliant so it mentions the tutorial having a bit of a lift and also getting to the tastier content that little bit quicker i'm liking what i'm hearing with my ear holes thank yes as part of that goal 4.0 adds a renew relaxed mode playable with either fresh or existing save Relaxed mode. I wonder if that's what they're going to call it. The relaxed mode. Yeah, it's got a cup of tea as an icon. <laughs> Who knows? Which Murray calls a very fun version of No Man's Sky, where the focus is on exploration, less on just surviving and grinding, where it's easier to see the six years of contents that's there. This, he says, will work well for first-time players. But I think it's also a common request from people who might have longer playthroughs who might just want a game where they kick back. You see, now, I like this. Now, although it might not bring a lot of new content to get into, at least if I am going to do a whole new playthrough of the game, which I'm seriously considering where I voice act for EXO, this is the game mode I can do it in, because it's a new game mode for me, and at least then it helps out whoever else is wanting to do this kickback relax mode. Yeah, I'm liking this, this has given me something to do, and it's actually cheered me up immensely, it really has. On top of that, among the various other versions, 4.0 brings an overhaul to survival mode and tools for custom games? Oh fudge, I hadn't read this far down before I decided to go and record whatever I was thinking and feeling on this. I, I just mentioned earlier that wouldn't it be nice if they added in a death loopy type mode to survival mode. Maybe there's going to be sliders or switches or options that we can tweak to make survival mode more how we would like to see it. You often see Jason and, and um, you know, survival Bob and others doing survival runs as quick as you can or no ship and all that sort of stuff. Maybe Hello Games are going to toggle on a no ship option or something. Survival is currently, I think, as strongest as it's been in the first few hours as a game mode, Murray explains. So we've made it so much more challenging, more unique experience. Brilliant. Custom games, meanwhile, will enable players to create bespoke sessions that better fit their needs at any given time. Featuring options to adjust everything from controls to the difficulty to how a lot of those sort of fundamentals work in the t in terms of pacing of the game. I wonder if they will have a no ship mode and a no HUD mode, but still gives you the mission markers and things. Ooh, there could be a lot of people out there right now that are getting quite excited for what that might mean. However, set expectations. This, for me, I'm just speculating on what it might, might mean. It might not mean any of that. There might just be a couple of extra options to increase your inventory or something. You know, it might not be what I'm suggesting, is basically what I'm saying, people. But if it is, that's freaking great, because I know that's that's something that a lot of players out there are doing. You know, quickest run, quickest get into the station, no ship mode, all that sort of stuff. Maybe there's going to be toggles. I just hope there's a toggle to turn off the freaking live chat that you see down the side of the screen when you can't actually type anything in there on console. Yeah, that I would like to see tweaked or changed, you know? Yeah, anyhow, which opens up whole different ways to play the game that weren't there before. So this is good, this is good. Although there might not be new content, there's new ways to play, which I've just mentioned I want to play this relaxing mode. I'd imagine there's other players out there and other content creators that are gonna fire up this survival mode, set a load of settings, and it's gonna be thoroughly entertaining to watch from that perspective. So I think this brings in a bit of longevity in play. 
I'm hoping anyway. That's what I'm hoping. Okay, on this week's Switch release. Okay, so we've got a load of stuff here that comes alongside of what's happening with Switch. Now, something that it does mention here, inside of here, that there are a couple of things that might not make it into Switch, like the settlements, because they're quite complex and quite big, and also multiplayer. So the settlements... <sighs> Now, something that's a little odd here is on settlements, you've got to own a settlement to trigger the Sentinel missions. Now, in the patch notes, it says that you get Sentinel inside of um, the Switch update. So how the heck would you trigger the Laylapse mission to go off and find all the capillary shell or whatever it is to make your Exomech a Minotaur into a Sentinel type one? You know, there's none of that there. So... Well, there's no trigger point, but that drives into what Sean Murray was saying earlier about the relax mode and get into the content quicker for the mech. So I'm wondering whether they've changed that up a bit. They already know about that. Yeah, so that's brilliant. Hopefully that's been thought about and hopefully there is a way to get your mech and also get laylaps from the Sentinel mission without having a settlement. So there are going to be subtle differences inside of the switch and maybe even on this relax mode for all players. I'm liking it, so that means I can still make tutorials, hopefully for Switch players, from my PlayStation 5 on the relax mode. Haha! <laughs> that's what I'm hoping anyway, that's what I'm reading into this. Let me know in the comments if you think I'm wrong or whether you think I'm right. That'd be great. Heck yes it would. But anyway, keeping further down, like I mentioned earlier people, um, it says on the future of No Man's Sky in Hello Games. So here we go, let's go back to reading. Six years on from No Man's Sky's launch. Though, and with the game in a healthier state than ever, it's hard not to wonder how long those updates can continue. I would love to know where we are in the journey. Murray laughs when I asked him, admitting he simply doesn't know. I just feel lucky that people are playing it, that people care and feel super lucky that the team enjoys it. I just think it would be horrible to try and make a team do updates they didn't have any ideas for, for it or even enjoy it. And I also don't think that we'd be the, we'd do it if the player base wasn't playing the game or enjoying it, you know? But whilst those two things are true, it's sort of what we get out of bed in the morning for, knowing that people are playing it for longer. I like this. I like this. As Sean Murray is saying that they're pretty much done, not done with it because the community are not done with it. And also his team are not done with it because it's a labour of love. We love playing it. They love making it. And as long as that continues, they're going to continue doing what they're doing. Brilliant news! Brilliant news for us content creators and those of us that love No Man's Sky and love what Hello Games is doing. Cool. I'll, I'll be honest, it's... it's... I'll be honest and say it's surprising that it's gone on for this long, Murray adds. It's lovely. Every day, it's nice that we have that opportunity, but every year, I'm like, I'm sure next year no one will be playing No Man's Sky and no one will have any ideas. We're surely out of ideas now, or enthusiasm, and that's got to be true at some point. But if Switch comes out and it becomes really important platform due to the number of players, then we'll be here a whole load of enthusiasm. But you know, I don't sit here and think I know whether these things will happen or not. I'm very fla I'm very fallible. <laughs> okay, well, let's just keep playing. Let's just keep pumping out ideas. And this is where I say, you know, speculation doesn't really hurt because speculation is ideas, essentially. And if Hello Games see that there's lots of ideas and they see that there's potential in some of this stuff that gets speculated about, is what drives them forward. So, yes, although it might set false expectations for an update of this year, spec our speculation of now might be an update that might be a year or two two years down the line, or parts of it, or elements of it, but it's ideas, you know? Anyway, but what of Hello Games endeavours away from No Man's Sky? While Murray confirmed the stu studio is already working on its next project earlier this year, he remains reluctant to say more when I ask what else might be in store. So this is what he says. I'm so hesitant to say anything about anything the studio is working on, he says, but there's a surprising amount. That is one thing I'm really amazed by. There's a surprising amount going on, some of which people know about, and way more people that don't. And I think in five years' time, I would look back and think, Christ, how did we do all of that with this few people? I think our next project is quite far along interesting and that it's a lot further along than no man's sky was when we announced that 
holy fudge so what they announced they announced no man's sky like 2013 then it dropped in 2016 so if they were a lot further along when they announced that then it's less than three years that's interesting that's very interesting there's a lot to be said in just this little paragraph um, and i'm enjoying that you know i'm quite happy to be in that place so yeah there's no pressures there's no expectations there's no sort of hype train going on for their new title as yet because we don't know enough about it to hype on it or even speculate on it not really not overly i mean i've tried but you know we're clutching at straws what's more ambitious than a procedure generated universe that's the query isn't it that's the question yeah. So anyhow, so I've done a video on that. I put it in the top right hand corner if you want to go and watch my speculation on what I think their next project might be. But I am totally clutching at straws on that one, people in the viewer verse. But sound off in the comments if you want to leave something here. That'd be great. But there we go. That's the end of the Euro gamer sort of um article now i've already read out the bits that i was tantalized and interested in there's a lot more in here when it comes to the actual switch version what isn't in there what is in there etc etc there's a bit on multiplayer blah -de blah -de blah so yeah you might want to come and read this article yourselves i'm going to put it in the video description hit it up take a read if there's something that you feel that i need to touch on let me know inside the comments and i'll do a separate video on it perhaps but you know what i think i've covered all the main bits that really jumped out at me and that i hope you've enjoyed this video and until next time people in the viewer verse goodbye goodbye and goodbye again